purpose of this project is to evaluate electric bus technologies and using it in the transit industry and really determining if this technology can be successful in a cold weather climate. Uh, with the winter that we've had this year, I think it's uh, an excellent test case to show that electric technologies are ready for, for use anywhere in the world because if they can handle Winnipeg's weather, it can handle anything. Manitoba Hydro's participation in the project has been through helping with the construction and design of the charging system here located at 820 Taylor. This charging system is the first of its kind. It's a DC rapid overhead charging system and our design team helped with uh, the layout of the charging structure as well as sourcing materials and constructing and installing it here at 820 Taylor. The bus is tested extremely well. Uh, we had one hiccup earlier in the year uh, in regards with the charging station. Uh, we modified the charger to now be able to produce at its full capacity and output. And uh, since then there's been actually no issues with the charging system or the bus. It's been very successful throughout the, the cold weather. The bus in the very cold temperatures is heated uh, with electric heat and then it's supplemented with a, a, an auxiliary heater that burns biodiesel. And in the very cold temperatures we notice uh, it, we get about a 5% drop in charge on our one-way trip. When we're not using the auxiliary heater, when it's a little bit warmer, uh, we use about 10%. So it seems to use as much power to heat the bus as it would just to run the bus back and forth. So when the bus pulls up, the bus driver will stop the bus under the overhead rail, start the charging process by extending a pentagraph that connects the overhead rail, as well as installing a grounding cable and a communications cable. Once that connection is formed, the bus charger and the bus communicate with each other, uh, signify that there's no issues with, with the charging procedure and then can proceed to charge. Probably the biggest thing is, is the noise. It's quiet. It's absolutely almost like silent running. Uh, the smoothness, because there's no transmission involved, so it takes off and stops very smoothly. And the, the regeneration from the braking allows you to brake very smoothly and you can use the brake pedal and it also saves on wear and tear on the brakes. So a full charge of the electric bus gives the bus around a 75 kilometer range in the spring and fall and about a 50 kilometer range in the summer and winter due to higher HVAC uh, requirements. For the shuttle service, the shuttle service takes around a 20 kilometer route and that, the energy used for that, those 20 kilometers can be replenished in under four minutes.